I decided while I was preparing to make this video that I was gonna make another video and just go and probably rip apart people's photos on Morph Market because I was just noticing that they're, and I hate to be negative, but there's some terrible morning friends and family I'm gonna show you the first clutch of the season that we have hatched out and I'm pretty excited to show you it's probably the best clutch we're gonna hatch this season and um, if you're coming over from Morph Market it's because I linked it in the listing if I happen to list any of these then you get to see uh, your snake here on video that you're getting or or I didn't list any of these on Morph Market I'm not sure yet no actually you know there's one for sure that I'm listing on Morph Market the other four I'm not entirely sure of. So let's talk first about what the pairing is. We've got the Sire here, who is a red stripe, yellow belly, GHI stranger het clown that we got from Canova. And pretty good looking snake right there. Pretty powerful snake. Um, let's look at mom. This is Make Make, our female GHI Mojave pinstripe het clown. We got from Grand Hedegriffs over at Hetty Herps a while back. I'm excited about this clutch for many reasons, but this is her first clutch and she was actually hatched back in 2017. So it's been a long road getting a clutch from her. Um, she's not looking 100% her best right now. She's kind of dark. Um, and sometimes she really lightens up and gets super silver, which we'll see represented in one of her offspring. Um, she, right now she's kind of like in between that silver that she gets versus that very dark. Sometimes she's black, sometimes she's light silver. Right now, like I said, she's kind of halfway in between, so she's not looking her best for whatever reason, probably because she's just finished producing a whole clutch um, and sitting on it for the entire duration of its incubation. But just wanted you to see the parents first. Now, this first animal is one that I know that we'll be listing on Morph Market because it's actually the only non-visual clown that we got. I'll list him as a pos het because that's what he or she is. I haven't sexed any of these. I'm I had to be very patient with this clutch to share with you guys. I, I really wanted to make sure they all had several meals in them first. And I haven't even sexed them yet. I didn't want to bug them too much. I just wanted to let them get their food in before really handling them a ton on camera, under the lights, and showing you guys. So it was tough. It was tough to wait this long to share this clutch. But I did it. They've, got, they've all got three meals in them. And I'm pretty excited about <laughs> the amount of patience I was able to show that I do have, because I'm not very good at that sometimes. Um, so this right here is going to be a pinstripe yellow belly, possibly red stripe, and I'm leaning towards yes on red stripe, but I'm still gonna list this snake as possible. And this is snake number one, of course, of clutch number 2401, being the first clutch of 2024. You can see here the pinstripe is pretty obvious. It's a very powerful dominant gene that causes that pinstripe, and of course, uh, originated by Brian over BHB was the pinstripe, and, creates these very thin pinstripes going down the back, two of them to be exact, um, just by the way the rest of the pattern forms, it just creates those dark pinstripes going down. Um, what would be, I guess, the background, if you think about the alien heads, which are kind of there and running together and very small and kind of square, all running together on each other. Um, pretty cool looking snake in its own right. And then with the yellow belly, I mean, you can just see this belly is just super busy there's flames coming up and um, it changes the color a little bit you know you got a little more of a yellow stripe down the back versus I guess you can kind of have that on these pinstripes and then the, let's not forget that this is likely het clown which might be why it's looking exceptional for just a pinstripe yellow belly and that could be why I'm trying to lean towards there being red stripe in it either way it's a very good looking snake always happy to produce a nice healthy beautiful looking snake over here at triple B and all of the rest of these snakes are just gonna be phenomenal. Um, you know, like I said, the rest are visual clown. And as I mentioned, I have not sexed any of them yet. I'm just not sure which ones I'm going to let go. It'll probably be based on whether they're male or female, but this might be my most held back clutch that I've ever produced, just because I'm so mind blown by some of the amazingness that's come out of it. So this right here is what I believe to be. I mean, it's definitely a pinstripe clown. You can tell because the, the pinstripe pattern is there, but it's been all blown apart and shoved up towards the dorsal, you know, whereas, whereas on the pinstripe without clown, you see two parallel lines running down the the upper dorsal part of the snake. Here you see that all that pinstriping has been pushed up to the center and by doing so it's kind of like forming little stripes of its own going down the back here. The, you imagine both pinstripes like on the other pinstripe were 
shoved towards the middle of the backbone of the snake, but they didn't get pushed all the way, so they leave these little openings here that you can see. Then the red stripe is like the color of the head and just kind of like a lot of the blushing that's inside of what were the pinstripes. That inside part is very, um, it's kind of a bit, a bit more orange and red than the rest of the animal. Then the yellow belly, you can see again, it's just very busy pattern going down to the belly and I'll kind of fill with a little bit of coloration. It's not all white. It's got a lot of yellow color inside. Um, so it's uh, pinstripe, red stripe, yellow belly clown. Super stoked on that, dude. That is a phenomenal snake right there. So well behaved. Now the first time that I saw Justin Kabilka produce a GHI Mojave clown, I was like, oh, I wanna make one of those. You know, if you've seen the GHI Mojaves, remember when those first came out, it was just the, the GH and the Mojave combo was just amazing. And all the black, dark snake with the little yellow strips going down the back. And, and then when Justin got it into clown, I was like, that was actually what inspired me to get this GHI Mojave het clown female that I got from Graham um, all those years ago. And finally, produced our very first GHI Mojave clown with some bonuses. Got some yellow belly in there and got some stranger in there. So pretty wild results there. You can see the, the stranger took what pattern was there on the GHI Mojave clown and just shoved them all up in these little things. And the yellow belly have to do that too with the coloration um, and just shoved them up there and until kind of squished them down, like took the, took the alien heads and just squished them into little little morsels and shoved them all around the snake. Just really cool looking. I mean, when I saw this snake pop out, I was like, dude, <laughs> yes, we got the GHM hobby. And then bonus. As I mentioned, uh, when I was showing mom, this is actually one of those snakes that does what she does. Because when this guy first came out, maybe you saw the little sneak peeks I was showing when I was showing the clutch still hanging out with mom. This guy was black when he first came out. And I think because he's digesting meals or he or she, is digesting meals and stuff, and then um, it turns silver. Turns silver, just like mom goes from black to silver, this snake also goes from black to silver. Pretty dang sweet, man. And you can see on the bottom here, some of that, probably barely make it on the camera, but these little yellow specklings come at the belly, a little bit of yellow belly influence in there. But gosh, look at that. So this was snake number three. Now, I honestly couldn't decide if it was between this snake or the snake I'm about to show after this one, that would be saving the best for last, because this one's pretty freaking sweet. But the other one that I actually am saving for last, I guess at some point at least, I thought was gonna be the best because I saved it for last. Um, but snake number four here is a GHI Red Stripe Yellow Belly Stranger. Um, at least that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm fairly certain about that. So the Red Stripe is pretty obvious to me with those little Beats headphones on the head there. The red stripe clown, a lot of times you end up getting those in different combos, and this is one of them. The red stripe is there, and then the stranger is just darkening up that snake a bit and adding a lot of darkness around the pattern, the small part of the pattern, and then the red stripe as well showing up, like getting some busyness going on in the sides and kind of that noise, and uh, the GHI kind of effect, helping that as well and kind of affecting the pattern as well. And even the head stamp too, you can kind of see a GHI in the head stamp as well. Um, if you've ever seen just a straight GHI clown, they kind of have that same head stamp too. Again, I, I don't know if this is actually the pinnacle of the clutch. We got such great odds to only get one that wasn't visual clown from a head to head pairing to start off with. And then, then we just got so many genetics worked into all these snakes and such a co cool variety between all of them popping up. So I'm super stoked on this clutch, man. Just so phenomenal and so good. And just this one, I mean, look at all the details. Once you get butt down by the tail, like the detail in this snake just becomes crazier and crazier the, the longer you look at it. It's just really, really cool. I kind of feel bad for the rest of the clutches because none of them are gonna be quite this dramatic or different and, and just new uh, for me, but but that's okay. We didn't save the best for last as far as that goes this year. Now I want you to comment down below and let me know if I did actually save the best for last or not, or if you think that last snake was the best. Either way, this is snake number five, which is a GHI Mojave. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm getting way, way off. This is a pinstripe, red stripe, yellow belly, stranger clown. And the pinstripe is pretty obvious as we've been looking at pinstripe and you're seeing the way the pattern is being affected by clown and pinstripe combo. 
and then the red stripe and the stranger really just working together to a darken up the snake well it's really the stranger doing the dark part of the pattern but stranger clowns kind of get this rusty orange head and um that tied in with the red stripe that head is just this special shade of orange that is kind of mind-blowing and then of course the red stripe and yellow belly at work together in the sides really the most busy of any of the snakes as far as what's inside of the pattern there now of course i'm talking about basically what looks like red tv static in between the pattern there it's just all very very noisy and busy and that's that red stripe and yellow belly combo at work i decided while i was preparing to make this video that i was going to make another video and just go and probably rip apart people's photos on morph market because i was just doing a little bit of back research just looking at all the different combos that were possible and and whatnot i was just noticing that there and i hate to be negative but there's some terrible just terrible photos on morph market and i wonder people may be wondering why they're not selling their snakes for a certain price man i mean just everything from really really good pictures all the way down to like just terrible like i don't care about taking this picture or and it, yeah, anyway, we'll make a whole separate video about that. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you want me to make that video because I want to make it. So if you want to see it, <laughs> that's a winning combo right there. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, checking out these snakes. Um, You'll know, I guess you'll be first to know if I end up putting these on Morph Market um, besides just that first one. But man, I uh, hope to see you all next weekend at the... Pomona Reptile Super Show, which is also the LA Pet Fair, and it's going to be a huge event. Uh, super stoked to go out there and be doing some interviews for Redline Report, and it should just be a good time. Um, yeah, hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. See you in the next video. Aloha.